a hotel that's walking distance to Disney Springs? Well, I have the perfect hotel that I think might work to meet your needs on this. My name is Kelly um, and my family, my youngest son and my husband and I, and my parents all went and stayed at the Hilton Palace Buena Vista in Florida. Uh, and one of the best highlights, frankly, was that it's considered a good neighbor hotel. So you get early entry into all the parks and you are literally walking to Disney Springs. So very, very convenient. So what was the hotel like? So first of all, we had the one bedroom suite standard view. So we went with a standard view, um, but the one bedroom suite was fantastic. It had your refrigerator and your microwave. It had a safe and counter space. Um, one of the nice highlights is it had two bathrooms. So you had, I guess I would call a powder room. Um, so there was no tub or shower in the first bathroom, but it had your vanity, it had lighted mirrors, which is really nice if you wanna put your makeup on, um, and no shower. The second bathroom did have, I would call almost a split bathroom. So it had the vanity, um, so somebody with a lighted mirror so somebody else could get ready with another door. And then it had the shower and a tub shower um, in that bathroom part. So really, as long as somebody doesn't mind showering in the stand-up shower and somebody's showering or taking a bath in the second one, you could actually have four people getting ready at the same time, um, understanding there's no privacy between the shower and the tub shower, but there were doors in the other areas. So that was really, really nice um, and convenient. Uh, there was an L-shaped pull-out sofa bed. So even if the sofa bed was out, you still had couch access, which was also really nice because sometimes, you know, when you either have your couch or you have your pull-out bed. Um, so it was nice having that. There were two balconies, at least in the room that we had, because it had a separate bedroom suite. So you could close the door um, and there were a balcony off the bedroom and there was a balcony off of uh, called the living area space. There were plenty of outlets, plenty of um, power strips for everyone. They actually had a separate power strip, which was also a nice touch. Um, so you didn't have to worry about bringing your own power strip, at least for the bedroom that we had. There is a second TV. There's a main TV in the main living room. There's a second TV in the bedroom if you prefer to watch TV in your bedroom. Large closet, um, which was also nice. We were able to store plenty of stuff in the large closet. Um, the one downside, at least to the building that we were in, uh, it is kind of a distance from the main building. I mean, by distance, I mean it's probably about a five minute walk. Um, it actually took more like eight minutes if you go around the front. There are separate entrances to the hotel once you have your room key to be able to get in. Um, but it is a little bit of a walk, so keep that in mind. My parents were a little surprised by that as well when they came, um, when you're carrying all your luggage and all those things. So if you really want to be in the main building, um, take that into consideration if you have your luggage. But there are people that will help you with your luggage as well. Probably the biggest downfall for the walk piece uh, was the coffee was in the main building. And I, as you guys all know, I'm a huge coffee drinker. Um, and so you have to go outside. And frankly, when we were there, it was a little cool in the morning. You have to go outside and take that, you know, five minute walk to get to the, what they call the citrus market, which is kind of their grab and go market. Um, and they had, they were serving Starbucks coffee, which was great. And they did have a lot of food options. Um, they would have, you know, pizza and hot sandwiches and they'd have oatmeal and yogurts and your grab and go. But they also had some warm soups and things like that as well. So really, and the food quality was good in our opinion. So if you're looking for that grab and go, um, I thought their citrus market was great. The downfall being if you're not in the main building, you're going to have to go outside to get your coffee. Uh, one nice thing is, again, it's a good neighbor hotel, so I can't stress enough. You got in 30 minutes early. However, you do not get early access to the Genie Plus until the park opens. So even though you do get 30 minutes early because it's good neighbor, you do not get the early access on Genie Plus. We didn't understand that piece, so keep that in mind if you're going to be doing Genie Plus. Um, you will be able to at 7 a.m. reserve your um, pay for rides, your Lightning Lane pay for rides, but not the Genie Plus access. Uh, one of the other highlights too is it had a lazy river with tubes. Um, the pool hours ran from 7 a.m. to new, to midnight or to 11 p.m. Excuse me. So it did have a later pool time. Um, we did not go on that. It had yellow tubes. Um, it looked like it had a decent current. We did see other people on it. Um, again, we were very busy and we weren't there very long, so we didn't do that. But it's always nice to have a lazy river, frankly, in our opinion, for um, for hotels. It had other activities like braids and henna tattoos and some sand art. 
There were warning signs um, all over for alligators and snakes. We did not see any alligators and snakes, but because there is a water pathway um, for safety, they do have warning signs um, available for that. There is a free shuttle to um, that goes every hour on the hour for parks. And keep in mind though, it's two parks per shuttle. So you scan the QR code for the schedule of the bus schedule and um, and they were they were on time. We didn't see any issues with that, but but know if it may be going to two parks. So it might be doing, you know, Hollywood Studios and Epcot. Uh, so you, if you, if that's important to you to get to a dinner reservation, you may want to Uber. We Ubered. It was very inexpensive, anywhere from nine to fifteen dollars to Uber. Um, they, we did. My son and husband took the shuttle a couple times, but I would say the majority of the time we Ubered. Um, but just know that it's going to stop at two parks. So the first park it stops at may not be the park that you want to go to. Um, so just keep that in mind as well. But the highlight, I can't stress this, stress this enough. It is walking distance to Disney Springs. You literally go down a, um, the walking sidewalk and there is a pedestrian bridge that goes over. You can see Disney Springs from the Hilton. You cross the pedestrian bridge you walk down and it has its own separate security entrance. Um, and it comes in, I always kind of call it by the Earl of Sandwich um, area. And you're right at Disney Springs, which was so convenient when you wanted a quick bite, when you wanted to maybe go check out some of the shops, when you wanted to go listen to music, just having it right there. And it was about a five to five to seven minutes, depending on where you're at. Now, the building we were at was closer to the Disney Springs entrance um, to that pedestrian pedestrian bridge. So for us, it only took about five to seven minutes. Um, but I guess add on a few more minutes if you're in the main building. So again, hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, please give me a like and subscribe and take a look at this next video.